what up youtube welcome to my channel i'm anthony tv look do me a favor guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button for me man like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment you already know i appreciate your support man hey look today guys we're sitting here at academy sports and outdoors man it's time to get some more shoes so i'm shopping for work shoes today it's just time for another pair man and you guys know if you've been following the channel for a while i actually like sneakers right slip resistant sneakers i like sneakers better they're just more comfortable on my feet than boots but today i'm actually looking for a nice boot if i can find a boot that gives me that same comfortability factor and that lightweight type of shoe that a sneaker gives then i'll buy a boot but if not y'all already know man i'm going to my go-to and that's the sneakers so i'm gonna go look for a boot if i can find a nice comfortable boot that's lightweight i'll buy it all right but look i'm gonna take you guys along with me let's go ahead and go man Shh. ATV fam. So I decided to do a voiceover on this part just because the music that the store is playing inside was so loud. I didn't want to get a copyright claim on this video. So I'm like, let me just do a voiceover. But we're choosing between two Wolverine shoes right here. Um, this is the first pair. Very nice shoe. As you can see, it has a safety toe, not necessarily a steel toe. At least it doesn't say that on the box. If you guys have worn this shoe, um, you can let me know. It's the Wolverine Legend. Yes, I do wear a size 12, Bigfoot. But um, this is the first shoe we're gonna try. And this is the second shoe. It's also a Wolverine shoe, nice shoe as well. And I really like the bottom of this shoe. Um, this is a tread that's normally on the sneakers that I wear. So I know that they'll probably perform well on the ramp. But let's go ahead and try them on, man. All right, gang. So again, man, this is the first shoe that I'm trying on. I really like this shoe, actually, man. Um, excuse the dirty mirror right here, but these shoes look pretty good on my feet. I'm not going to lie. And they don't feel bad. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, again, these aren't steel toe. However, they do have a safety toe. It's a composite toe boot. So um, it does have that protection right there. So if something heavy was to fall on your foot, it will protect your toes with that composite toe on this boot. And I'm just walking in them, feel really good. Um, you can see here, $174.99 is the price. Oil resistant, slip resistant, and again, composite toe, and also waterproof, which is very, very, very much needed with all the rain we have where I live, man. So this is the first shoe. Let's go ahead and try the second one on. All right, guys, so here's the second pair of shoe. These are waterproof as well, just like the first pair that we tried on. And I really like the color of these shoes. As you can see right here, despite how dirty this mirror is, <laughs> I really like the way these shoes look. And they don't make my foot look like a size 14 or something crazy like that. But yeah, man, so as I'm walking in these shoes, though, I'll be honest, they're not as comfortable as the first pair that I tried on. Uh, actually felt something felt like it was pressing up against my foot as i was walking on the inside so i really didn't like that part but as you can see by the price on this label that 109.99 oil resistant slip resistant steel toe waterproof the whole nine yards man so this shoe has it and again i really like the way these shoes look on the outside man really nice looking shoe all right let me know what you guys think if you've owned a pair of these before or you try them on, whatever, let me know in the comments. All right, listen, we still looking. Let's check out another pair. All right, man, we're gonna look at two more pair of shoes right here. The first one, Timberland Pro, they're $169.99. I've seen a lot of you guys in the food service game talk about Timberland Pros. So I'm gonna give these shoes a try. 
they're actually steel toe. These are steel toe boots. Again, I was trying to avoid the steel toe boots, man. Um, it does add a little weight onto this shoe, but they're oil resistant, slip resistant. And so we'll see how these feel. I'm gonna give them a shot. Next one is gonna be this Brazos Men's Workhorse Boot. I've never heard of these before, but as you can see, they're $79.99. And it has a composite toe. It's not a steel toe boot, but that composite toe feature, it is still very, very, very hard, man. And that's the same thing that that first boot had, the Wolverine boot composite toe as well. So let's try these on, let's see how they feel. All right, gang, so I tried on these Brazo shoes and I'll be honest, man, these shoes are super heavy. Felt like I had a center block on my foot or something, man. It was crazy. And these aren't even steel toe, but they felt a little on the heavy side. So I'm gonna try on these Timberland Pros next and walk around in these for a little bit, see how they feel. And I'll get back with you guys in a minute, man. I really like this color on these shoes as well, though, man. The brown, really like this color. So we'll see how they feel, man. I'm gonna give these a shot. These are still toe boots right here. So we'll see. I'm gonna give them a shot. We'll see how they feel. I'll check back with you guys in a second. All right, man. So this is what the Timberland Pros look like on my feet. Again, man, I really like the way these look on my feet. They don't feel bad at all. Even though they still toe, the other shoes I tried on before these, the Brazos, still felt heavier than these shoes. These shoes right here actually feel lighter than the Brazos. I'll be honest with you guys. So, hey, the Timberlands, I really like how these feel. I like how they look. So we'll see, man. I think it's going to be between this shoe, the Wolverine, and the Timberland. So I don't know, man. I'll let you guys know. I right, remember the Timberland Pros on the left are 164 and the Wolverines on the right are 174. All right, gang, so I had to go back and grab the Wolverines again and try them on for the last time. Um, I did try on, I don't know, three other pair of shoes after I tried these on. So I'm like, let me try these on one last time since I've narrowed it down to two shoes, the Timberland Pros and these. So I want to make sure I give them both a fair assessment, right? And I walked around these a little bit more, a little bit longer, just to really get a feel of what these are going to feel like on my foot. And I mean, they felt pretty good. So as you can see, man, nice boot. I don't know. It's tough. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we made it back to the car. We purchased a pair of shoes today, a pair of boots actually. And look, I'm very happy with the purchase. I'll find out how good they are when I actually wear them out in the field, but just putting them on and wearing them inside the store, walking around a little bit, the shoe is very comfortable and it's not too heavy, right? To my surprise, it's really not too heavy. So I really think that this shoe is gonna be a really good shoe. I won't know until I actually get out in the field, go up and down the ramp, things like that to really see how they perform out there. But as of right now, I think I really like the shoe that I purchased. Remember, we had two choices. We narrowed it down to two. It was out of the Timberland Pro and the Wolverine shoe. The Timberland Pro, I believe was $164.99 and the Wolverine, um, I believe it was $174.99. Not too much of a difference in price, but I can only leave with one, man. Which one you guys think I went with? I'm not gonna keep you in suspense much longer. Let's go ahead and get to the one I chose. And it was, sorry, I don't have a drum roll, <laughs> but the Wolverine, man. There you have it, man. I had to go with the Wolverines, guys. This shoe was just, it was just more comfortable to me if I can get it out the box. So yeah, man, this shoe, it was just, it was just more comfortable, man. Like overall, in my opinion, this shoe was hands down more comfortable than the Timberland Pro. And, um, and they actually look better on my feet too, man. So 
Um, I really like these. We'll see how they perform out in the field. Slip resistant or resistant. I really think this is gonna be a good shoe. Like I said, and it's waterproof, man. I really like the fact that they're waterproof. Uh, I actually never had a waterproof shoe before and it rains a lot, as you guys know, if you've been watching the videos. It rains a lot over here in the south where I'm from. Um, and look, I really think I'ma like these, man. It's got the Dura shocks at the bottom. I know a lot of you guys have probably already had these shoes before, so you could definitely drop it in the comments. Let me know what your experience was with these particular boots. But it's my first time, so I'll see how they feel, man. And no, these are not steel toe boots, all right? And I wasn't looking for steel toe boots. So that's what we went with, man. We went with the Wolverines and Wolverine Legend is the name of them, just in case anybody was wondering. All right. All right, man. So there you have it. I went with the Wolverine shoe. Very comfortable shoe. Like I said, just walking around inside of the store. I won't know how they actually perform, like I mentioned earlier, until I actually get out in the field. But I'll do an updated video and kind of give you guys a review on how these shoes feel when I'm out actually working in them. All right. So look, guys, that's all I got for you right now. Y'all stay tapped in. And remember, if you're new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button for me, man. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment. Until next time, y'all already know, man. I catch y'all on the next one. Peace.